We have a very interesting and lovely guest today who has uh, spent a good deal of her professional acting career in what is known as daytime dramas on the network. We know them as soap operas. Her name is B.B. Besh, and she plays the part of Iris Garrison in Love is a Many Splendid Thing, which you see here, of course, on Channel 11 and CBS. That is true. You are really, even though you're very young, you have been in a whole handful of soaps, haven't you? Yeah, I have. I've been in uh, five of them, I think. Does this mean that you're, you must be very facile. You must be a, a fast study, I should think. I've learned how to become a fast study. I wasn't when I first started out, but uh, if you have to do a new show every day, you learn how to do it, or you just... <laughs> <laughs> Hold. You know, it's it's interesting. We don't, this is an ad lib type show, and we don't use teleprompters much. Maybe in a commercial we might use a cue card. Mm -hmm. uh, you're sort of on your own resources, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. if you flop, you mm -hmm. do it without anybody writing any words for you. Mm -hmm. So we're, it's very interesting. We've had so many guests from New York, Mary Stewart and mm -hmm. Don Stewart from uh, the other soaps mm -hmm. on CBS, talking about the various little methods that the actors use to learn their lines or to read them off cue cards if there isn't time to study them. Yeah, well, you do learn how to become uh, facile at, at reading the, uh, the teleprompters. I know that when, I, when we block the show with the cameras, I make sure I always know which camera is going to be on and where I'm looking <laughs> in the event that I might need to go to one. I can look to one, and it might not look that I'm looking to one. And styles change. Now, I understand that some actors are fearful of being dependent on, on notes or on the teleprompters. Yeah. No. Or, or their eyes, if they're like mine, they're nearsighted, and they can't see yeah, the teleprompter. Can <laughs> That's right. <laughs> they can, the audience can it looks like worry, I, and it's really no, nearsighted. No. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I, I um, uh, for myself, I believe in always learning the lines. Uh, so I come in in the morning with my lines learned. But you never can tell what may happen last minute on the air, you know, that's going to distract your attention and make you forget all of a sudden. Do you help each other if somebody goes up in a line? Oh, sure, absolutely, because you're in this thing together. And if uh, they have egg on their face, you end up with <laughs> egg on your face, too. So, oh, yes, you help I each was, other out. I heard this story about one actor who had pieces of paper, scotch taped, on all the sets uh -huh. and the furniture on the uh -huh. cocktail yes, table. Yes, you see that. I played a scene not too long ago with a doctor on the show, and he was leaning over uh, with his hands on his elbows on his knees, and he was looking down at the floor, and there was a script on there with the words. <laughs> I know some actors who write words in the coffee cups. <laughs> the problem comes when the stagehands clean the cups and fill it with coffee before you do the scene, and then you look in, oh my, what happened to my words? <laughs> That's funny. Incidentally, that voice that came over, we're, we're doing this interview in the lobby of a prominent Atlanta hotel, so if you hear some bells were near the elevators and near uh, the uh, music system, which is, I think, kind of nice. Yes, because very pleasant. We like to get out of the studio and do this. I think one of the funny ones, and I don't know whether this is an apocryphal story, whether it happened uh, about a person who wrote some lines on his <laughs> skin and then he perspired and the lines all disappeared. <laughs> I believe it. You know, I, I believe can, it. I believe it. I couldn't remember them all. <laughs> but now you have been on, on how many? You're you're now featured in Love is a Money Splendor. Right. And you're in... in you're in... Oh, he's not here, I'm sorry. <laughs> he's not here. That's right. But you're now in the throes of uh, troublesome things. Oh, Bad things have happened to indeed. you. You're mixed up. There's some trouble with your husband. We don't want to uh, telegraph all that stuff. Yeah. But well, life is never serene in a soap. No, and it has never been for the character that I'm playing, and it probably will never be serene. So uh, I will probably have a job for as long as I want. How do you see uh, the real B.B. Besh? What, how would you describe yourself? Uh, how would I describe myself? A uh, pretty serious person. Uh, very involved with my family. Um, uh, I certainly don't have the troubles that the character on my show does. You're married to a very highly educated and skilled yes, man, uh -huh, yes. Pratt, uh, Vice President yes, of Pratt Institute, uh -huh. one of the great yes. institutions of our country. Yes, yes. Uh, and so my life has uh, several distinct parts to it. I mean, it's not just uh, show business. It has other elements to it also. You also have an interesting heritage. Your mother's the distinguished Viennese actress, Gusti Huber. Yes, right. And she has done so many wonderful things. Dial M for murder. Murder. Uh, Flight into Egypt was the first play she did in New York, and uh, The Diary of Anne Frank, where she played Anne's mother. And she did that in the movie also. Can you do a rich 
Viennese accent? No, I wouldn't attempt it. I wouldn't attempt it. It would be nice to do a mother and daughter. I'd love it. I'd love it. I wish somebody would write something that we could do together. I find it interesting that you live in, uh, on Staten Island mm -hmm. because so many New Yorkers are status conscious. They like to live on Park or the fashionable East 60s yeah, and so forth. Yeah. Staten Island for those of us who live outside of New York, uh, has the impression of being a, a great place for middle Americans. Well, uh, that's not really so. Uh, there are some lovely areas of Staten Island, some very old areas. Uh, some of the oldest uh, houses in the New York area are on Staten Island. Um, it has some unattractive parts to it, but the area that we live in is old. And you take a ferry to work Yeah, I it. take the ferry. I love it. Nice. I just adore it. I have to be at work at 7 in the morning, so I take my thermos of coffee on the ferry and read the paper, and I have my quiet 20 minutes. It's delightful. I get the impression that you like your life quite well, that because you're in the soaps with comparatively normal daytime hours of work, you can devote yourself yes. to your family. It, uh, it's, it fits very well with trying to uh, have a family and uh, lead some kind of a normal life as well as working at the same time. Do you see your life stretching on indefinitely in the Love in is Money Splendor thing? Well, I'll be with the show for a, a while longer. I have aspirations to do other things also, um, which will complicate my life if they occur. Um, I but I want to try. To ask what other I things. want to try all sorts of things. I'd like to work in film. I'd like to do more theater. I, I love theater. I love the live audience. I think that's a very exciting, the most exciting to me, uh, part of show business. But obviously, CBS and the audience thinks that uh, Iris Garrison is a very important personality and will be kept in the show in a well, prominent position. Well, she's really one of the central characters. At the moment, she is the central character. Uh, and I don't think that Iris will ever be faded out of the picture, because the story really started around the two Donnelly sisters. Uh, so I have a feeling that I could stay with the show as long as I'd like. That's what um, Red Barber, the sportscaster, would say, being in the catbird seat. That's a good uh, southern yes, expression. Yes, yes, yes. It's very nice. Very nice position to it's be in. It's very nice. And it's been a very nice position to be sitting next to you. Thank you. I thank you very much. Thank you very much. We enjoy you. Iris Garrison, played by our guest, B.B. Bash, and Love is a Many Splendid Thing on CBS and Channel 11, and our guest, and one of the best we've ever had.